What's going on YouTube? I'm here for a nice little video. We had a little dusting overnight. Got some snow, about eight or so inches, eight, nine, somewhere in that realm. I figured this would be a good time to do my first little review, a quick and dirty uh, review of this lovely Greenworks electric snow blower that I purchased. Bought this a couple months ago. I actually ordered it back uh, at the start of winter. I had a coworker who got one of these, swore by it, and I kind of convinced him in, uh, initially just because I'm big on green, green energy, electric vehicles, electric appliances, yard tools, everything. I love electric stuff. Um, of course, I got to admit, it is, the electric technology is not quite there. It's, it's still kind of in its infancy. These batteries, they're powerful. They're making some nice machines, but they're just not quite up to par with the, the tried and true gasoline engines. But I'm not a big fan of gasoline. You know, it's expensive these days, relatively speaking. Um, and, it's, you know, it's, they're loud and they're dirty. So, and I work night shifts. You know, I don't necessarily appreciate when people run their powerful gasoline engines, you know, even early in the morning. So, I had a lot of reasons to go with electric stuff. I bought an electric... Um, lawnmower a few years ago, Ryobi. Greenworks was uh, in its infancy then. I did not know about Greenworks. Uh, the Ryobi was good. I found that it, its power wasn't quite up to the snuff to do my entire yard, especially if it, the grass was too tall. But it, it worked. I was able to get it done when I didn't have any alternative. So I had no complaints. And I figured with a snowblower, we don't get a huge amount of snow. We usually get one or two good snowstorms a year. And I figured with a small driveway, uh, one of these machines would be more than adequate. Overall, looking at it, it's about the same as some of your lower end residential snow blowers you see that I used to mock as a kid. Uh, this kid, we always had one of the big, powerful ones that just screamed death everywhere, all sharp metal parts. And you got in the path of the snow that was being thrown, you're dead. It was, this is impossible impressive industrial machine but that's not what I got my initial reaction when I'm putting this together is like my lawnmower it's a lot of feels rickety a lot of cheap plastic the wheels you know kind of pathetic everything just everything just reminds me of like a child's toy it's like a child's that's what a child would have, like a high-end child's toy, and but it it does work. Um, as I say, I bought this a couple months ago. It was delayed, and it eventually came in a few weeks ago. I put it together, and just in time, we had a little bit of snow. We got like two inches of snow, and I I ran it real quick. It took me I don't know five ten minutes, maybe longer. I don't remember to. Uh, clear the driveway then of course my neighbor he he has a uh, he has one of the bigger you know gasoline ones and he was out running his and you know I felt you know, I'll admit I'm not gonna say I, you know felt intimidated but you know you know I try not to, I'm secure in who I am so I don't need you know the fact that the, the neighbor's got a bigger uh, bigger snowblower doesn't bother me too much so but but I say this got it got the job done um, I was so woke up this morning so we got uh, we got a, a true test here and brought the snowblower out turned it on and it worked for about 10 feet because I had neglected to charge the battery after my last use hoping that you know it would have lasted more than 10 or 15 minutes from the previous usage and so I put the battery on for a few more hours because, I mean, these things, will they take like eight hours anymore to charge? And it got up to about 25%. I don't know what it was, too light, whatever the second light is on the, the meter. And my, my, my intention is I'll do it tonight, no big deal. These things are quiet enough. And my worst half said that she had some place to go at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, whatever it was, and I don't know what time it is now. It was, it was after 2, so didn't have a lot of time. So I was like, I was hoping maybe what, what charge I had, and it worked. A, I got to work for a couple, couple minutes. Uh, it's 
cleaned out near her car and then it died because you know the battery hadn't charged very much but in what i what i got to see at that point it was definitely not adequate to handle this much snow which i never expected i wouldn't expect a gas powered machine of this size to accomplish it it it, it worked it, it took down it took out a few inches of snow so come over to the spot that i had accomplished nice and smooth i'll give it that it took all the way down to about an inch or so and it, over there it's down to the ground so if i had some more batteries i think i thought i don't even think just that the one battery fully charged it would take this it would i had to go over this a couple of times but the good news is that it is uh you know, it's light enough that with a couple of batteries, I could definitely clear this. There's no effort at all to push this thing. It's, like I say, it's light. It's not self-propelled by any means, but it's light. And I can pick it up no problem one-handed. You know. So, and so my driveway here is piss poor clean, clear. So how did I do that? Well, in the background here, I have my, my trusty plastic, cheap. What is this? Surecast steel core shovel that I bought at, I don't know, Meyer, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware a few years ago, about six years ago. And this is what I've been using for the most part ever since I bought this house. And the quality here is kind of rough because I'm lazy and I don't care. This is nicer over here. Makes sure I got a little downward slope. But I don't care. This little plastic piece of junk, cheap plastic piece of junk, was a little more reliable than this expensive plastic piece of junk. I'm, I'm, ha I'm half joking with that. I mean, I can't say it's a piece of junk. This thing is probably very good for small driveways, definitely like urban residential areas where you might have a small driveway, uh, even smaller than this, or a sidewalk. And honestly, with an inch or two of snow, this thing was pretty, pretty uh, uh, badass, as the kids would say. Can't complain. Can't complain there. So this, my overall review is going to be inconclusive. I really didn't get a true test. Though I do believe once I got down to the end here, where the snow plows had already come through, I do not see this, this snow machine, this, this uh, snow blower doing anything. This is... Some solid snow, it's a lot more packed in, it's from the plow. Yeah, it, this is gonna have to be dug out by hand anyway. So, and truthfully, so should I have bought this thing? I don't know, it's nice to have. Um, it has the juices. I'm the type of person, I really don't like shoveling snow. I don't, the only reason I haven't bought one before, the shovel works good, and I really don't shovel that much. I've always driven a truck with four-wheel drive, and I'm the type of person that I'll just run over snow a bunch of times with my tires and call it good enough. I've never gotten stuck in my own driveway, even when we've had 8 to 10 to 12 inches of snow. So, as I say, once or twice a year, I'd have to come on shovel, and that's about it. So, hope if we get any more snow here in the next few days, maybe I can actually do a real review of this uh, Greenworks 20-inch... 80 volt snow blower and but overall like I say expensive didn't necessarily need it but I think uh, I think it will serve its purpose for when we get lighter snow and I just want to clear the driveway real quick and any if I really cared about serious snow I would get a snow bigger snow blower uh, truthfully I do have a tractor a 1950s so it's 50 well 70 some well 70 years how the heck is 1950s 70 years ago whatever i guess it works i got this tractor i inherited from my grandfather and it's got a it's a big badass tractor it's in my in my in my garage right now and it's got a plow that would would cut through this snow no problem but it uh needs some work done on it and that was gonna be my my summertime project for last year and you know the coof happened and everything was kind of shut down and um, most of my days off were uh, restricted to childcare and other projects so really never got a chance to work on that tractor much so we'll see if this this summer's project probably not probably never get it going but 
you know, because I'm lazy. And I don't care. But yeah, so in the end, in conclusion, uh, Greenworks Snowblower, inconclusive. Can't say exactly how good it is. Sure cast, steel core, piece of junk shovel, awesome buy. Well worth whatever I paid for it. Would recommend again. And that's it.